welcome to another Thug Pro video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to lend Tendo, but not really. Let's get it. Hey guys, and welcome to another Lentendo video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add custom skate parts. So the first thing you need to do is head over to thpsx.com, click on Community Creations, and then click on the Vault. In here we're going to be adding custom levels, so what you want to do is filter this by custom levels. I'll go ahead and download a couple examples. Uh, this Washington DC one from Tony Hawk's Proving Ground looks pretty good. If you find a custom skate park that you like, click on it. Um, you'll be then taken to the page and you can click the download button to download that park. I should also point out that you want to be looking for skate parks that have the blue tick in the top right hand corner. Everything here with the blue tick uses the new method of adding in custom skate parks uh, and does not replace Burnside as the old method used to do. This little big world one looks pretty good, so I'm going to add that one. Now bob -omb Battlefield from Super Mario 64 uses the old method, so I'll go ahead and download this one and show you that one as well. Once you've got the parks downloaded, uh, you'll need to extract them. I'll just start with the Washington DC one first and we'll go one by one. Once that is extracted, you can see that inside this Washington DC folder there is a user folder and then inside the user folder there is a data folder and a Washington DC.level.dat file. If you go further into the folder structure, you can see the other files uh, that make up this level. But what we're going to do is copy the user folder into the appropriate location. Now the easiest way to get here is to type in percent app data percent at the top of the explorer window. This will take you to the roaming app data. You will need to go back one and go into the local app data. Then you want to click on your thug pro folder and then your user folder. Now if we go back to our extracted folder, you can see here the Washington DC level.dat file needs to be copied into the user folder of thug pro. And then inside the data folder, you can see the levels folder. This needs to be copied into the data folder of Thug Pro. And that's pretty much all there is to this new method. Uh, you can now open up Thug Pro and play your level. Now to find your imported level in Thug Pro, what you need to do is when you select level, scroll across to imported levels, and you should see your imported levels in this directory. As you can see here, I've got the Washington DC map. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now I'll go and follow the same process for Little Big World. Now this one is a little bit different uh, as you can see here with the extracted folder. Inside the data folder there is a pre-folder and that is where the Little Big World files are instead of in the levels folder. But the same process applies. You need to copy the pre-folder into the data folder of Thug Pro and then the level text file into user data in Thug Pro. and then the little big world dot level text file into the user folder. And then you're good to go.
rubber bomb battlefield, it uses the old method, which means you have to replace the burn side level. Now first thing you want to do is make a backup of the existing burn side level. Now the burn side level files are inside the Thug Pro data and then the pre folder. And basically you need to find these three PRX files and then back those up and then overwrite them with your Bob on Battlefield or whatever level that you have downloaded that will replace Burnside. Now after you've copied these files in here, if you go ahead and load the Thug Pro launcher, when Thug Pro goes to validate the files, you will see Thug Pro Updater. Now what this is doing is it's overriding our changes with the, the default Burnside level. So as you can see, when I load Burnside level, there's no change. Your custom level is not there, basically. The first way I'll show you how to do this is to open up another level. And whilst you're in that level, Alt-Tab out of Thug Pro or Windows key D to bring you to the desktop. And then follow the same process. Override your Burnside files with the existing Burnside files. Whilst your game is still open in the background, and then click back onto Thug Pro and then select Burnside and it should now load Bob on Battlefield. Now doing it this way does mean that when you close out of Thug Pro and then reopen the game, the files will then be validated again and Burnside will be overwritten with the original Burnside level. The other way you can get around this is to turn off updates and an easy way to do this as pointed out by another user in the comment section on my custom skaters video you can open up the thug pro launcher navigate to gamepad binding tab and then press ctrl alt d on your keyboard doing this will stop the files from being validated and overwritten and each time you close out of thug pro and go back into it your level will always be there That's all for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out. Please leave a comment below if it did. Like, comment, subscribe, blah blah blah, bada bing bada boom. Thanks for watching.